hello guys welcome again in this video i am going to explain you how you can use manage external storage permissions for reading or writing a text file on external storage on sd card and uh, in the previous video i have explained you how you can ask the runtime permissions for manage external storage the same program i am taking here but i am removing all these things because i am taking here I'm just changing the layout for writing a data for text file. So here just I'm creating a one button. First of all, I'm creating a text view. One text view here. And I just uh, design this text view first of all. I will take it as a file name like this. Now one more for multiple line. I will take it for writing a data text file. Like this. Now I just make designing of this also. Now I take button. one button for writing data in a file so i give position like this then i give one more button here for reading a data from a file like this Now I'm giving it the position also at the down. Designing is completed and I just give the name. I say txt file name. Okay. Then I take uh, txt data for file then i take it button bt and write data and i take name btn read data like this now go to code one here just i change the name and i just write the hint here i say enter file name here and I just uh, increase the size text size to 30 SP like this now I go to edit text a multi line text also and uh, I say text size to 30 SP and uh, now for the name button i just give here write data you can say write to file and here i say read from file read from file like this so we have a designing here like this this way done <coughs> name is done this size is a little bit bigger one so I just uh, increase the size of this text a little bit like this okay now you go to main file here so here in this file we have previous code 
so I will make this code working so how I will do this so what I say in place of this uh, I write toast and uh, toast dot make text and I say application context text and I say toast dot short duration dot show like this I copy this one and I paste this one for permission now button because this button is not for writing this so I'm first of all converting my I'm using button that I say BTN for read data for write data and that set on click listener like this what I say I say if check permission this is the function which I am going to create if permission is here then I will write code for file else if permission is not rare then I will request request permission okay <clears throat> I will request permission request permission so I'm going to create this function create function request permission like this and then I create this permission also check permission so check permission I create this function also here I say private fun check permission like this so function check permission is ready and return type is boolean so I say boolean return type and I say if environment variable dot is external storage manager if there is a permission for that I have to put it under the surround like this so I remove this one if I say and this one is okay I say return false here and I check if there is a permission of external storage then return true okay if there is a permission already given then no need to ask for permission if it is not given then it will request for permission so permission will be requested so this code will come here I will request the permission if permission is not for external storage this button is not available so I am removing this one so I am asking for permission if permission is not available okay this one this way and I am checking permission if permission is not there and now I am just writing a code for this and remember the same code I will take for reading also so I just say this here I say read data read data like this now I am writing a file so uh, first of all I am taking a file object and here I am passing the object of external storage directory so I say environment dot get external storage public directory and I say here download in this directory I will save my file and file name I am giving here uh, for that I am checking the file also if binding dot txt file name 
dot text dot is is not empty if it is not empty then i am using here as a file name binding dot txt file name dot text dot to string like this so i am asking for permission if permission if file is if tag if is not empty you have given some file name here then okay else i can display toast here make text application context that write file name like this dot show now uh, if file name is there we have a file name here directory now uh, file uh, object is ready and uh, multiple file the file name is ready like this then i say i have to write data so i say file dot uh, first of all i have to create a file for writing and then file dot uh, buffer writer dot use then do then say out then i say out dot write and here i will pass uh, binding dot t txt data dot to dot text dot to string like this so i am writing data here in a file from the text box which in which i, I will write data so it will write here and for reading a file just i copy this one again and here i write for reading a file but for that i am not creating this file first change and uh, uh, second first condition i have to check this one also if file name is not ready so i say like this and uh, i am not creating file right now no need to create because because we have to read data so here uh, file then what i say remove this one i say text we are passing here binding dot txt data dot text dot to string so what i have to do it will return care so i pass it here binding dot uh, set txt dot set data set text and here i will write the all data read text all the text will go to the text box okay done i think everything is okay now i try to run this you see i just click on write to file if permission is not there write file name it's displaying message write file name so here i am writing a file name a b c d dot dot t x t like this and here i am writing data this is data for a b c d dot t x t file on external storage like this and i write here 
and the file is right I am not giving the confirmation so file is written if I remove this one if I remove the data like this and I click on read data you see no data is available I click on read from file so data is coming from the file so uh, I can add one more thing also I have to confirm after writing a data I will print a snack bar snack bar to to display information about the file that uh, data is written in file the file which we have like this I say binding binding dot dot txt file name dot txt dot to string like this and then we have snack bar dot short length dot show like this so once again I try to run it you see that a b c d dot txt file is already created so if i click on read from text so text is coming here but if i give some more file name i say a b i x y z dot txt like this x y s x y z dot txt and i write some more data in this some more data if i enter and i say write to file you see the snack bar is coming data written in the file name and if I remove the data from this and I click read from file so data is coming from the file if I say abcd abcd.txt file name and I say read from that file so data is coming from that file also so you have seen that we have used the external storage in Android 11 and later version and we are just writing a text into file and we are reading it data from the file by using Kotlin programming language so if you really learn anything from this video kindly do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video